Right, okay. No pressure, but you've got to cry at my window if you fucking cry at the idea of Pingu. Can you not interrupt me? I'm just trying to do the introduction. Rose, why are you so close to me? Because I love you. Ooh, I don't like you. Ooh, you're touching me all over. Come on. Some so, people, some people would want that. Remember what Daily Grace told us, okay? Space is good. Seriously, I'm so... Move up. You're gonna fart, aren't you? Welcome to the internet. Now, we know that you come to the internet often. Sometimes you come for, um... Can I tell them what I use the internet for? When I'm getting ready for work, um, I watch some things. Tell that story again. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> Sometimes when I get ready for work, I watch some things. Oh, that's cool. Now, first of all, I want to apologise for my slight lack of uploads because we've been incredibly busy people. So Flynn went outside. When he didn't come home at 12 o'clock when we went to bed, um, we thought, okay, well, he's just going to be out in the morning. Fine. Yeah, sometimes he does that, doesn't he? And then he yeah. winds in the morning. Uh, so I went down in the morning, uh, nothing. Fun. Went down midday the next day, nothing. And when it got to 24 hours, I was like, he's gone, he's dead. The yeah. pessimist that I am, I text Rosie like, it's lost cause, he's probably dead. Here we go, I had like a lot of oh, things. <laughs> Um, so Finn went missing, but he looked lovely in his picture. Um, so we've kept those just for next time. Yeah, I but you know, you next never time, know. Next yeah. time he's probably gonna be dead. We got back from looking at night. We we're really tired. I hadn't been having any dinner every night. Right, I'd gone to work, come straight home, not eaten, and I just gone searching, hadn't we, for hours, and then gone to bed. Mm -hmm. And it, we were really tired. And we were gonna get into bed. And I said, Rose, please, let's just have one last look in our garden. And um, we thought we heard a noise. And our next door neighbour's shed alarm was going off. And I was like, that's been going off all day and it suddenly clicked and I went, oh my god, he's setting off the alarm, it's the fucking cat. And we were like, Flynn, Flynn, and we suddenly heard him yowling and I think the reason we didn't hear him any other day was because it's so windy. And there's a main road right there. Yeah, it's the main road and it's windy so we couldn't hear him. What is bizarre is they set their garage alarm and yet didn't lock their garage door. Basically, we thought we had to call the police um, to get into their house, but what yeah. I did is I tried the handle and it worked. It was so funny, we got to the garage, we, we heard his voice, we, we broke, so we, like, their gate was wide open, their alarm was going off they went in but their lights were on and I thought oh my god like they've been robbed it was like a shed garage whatever you call it but in it was a ladder straight up to like an attic Rose's phone was a torch my phone was on speakerphone pitch black and I went up there and I was like Do you know what I'm not looking up there's probably the ring girl there's no fanny in around grabbed my cat put him over my shoulder went yeah, down like straight a in. got him home Three bowls of food and a plate of tuna later. Then he was sick. I had so much hope. I was like, you know, he's not dead. I it's bought... like that bit on Pingu when what? he puts his little thing on his back. And he oh, and he off. leaves. Oh, if Flynn didn't leave, they got stuck. What I wonder though is, I wonder if he goes back up that ladder. Did you ever watch the one where Pingu got drunk? The X rated Pingu. Pingu's mum was really mad at him and she, she yeah. slapped him. Yeah, she and really he was like, him. And, his little lip and he was like, like <laughs> I really love Pingu. Honestly, I'm not even I'm not even faking it. Pingu, when a Pingu cries, set you off. nothing like it. That homeward bound and the end of um Homeward Bound. Rose, what's wrong with you? I'm just that's exactly what she did to Pingu! <laughs> did you only watch that one episode? No. I watched all of them. I just didn't understand what he could fit in that tiny little neckerchief pole. His feelings! <laughs> Let's act out the moment one of us tells the other one that they're pregnant. <gasps> go, go. I've already thought about this, right? Go. When I get pregnant, I'm not telling you for a while. Cue music. Rosie, I've been going through some changes. You know that I always make fun of you and say you're eating for two when you're not? No? I'm being sick constantly in the morning. Not just because I wake up and you're the first thing I see. I'm pregnant, it might be yours, but maybe not yours. I can't act well, Rose. Just take some tips off me. Okay, what? Sway my head around and raise my eyebrows a bit. Yeah, it's called acting. Look it up in the dictionary. <laughs> it's twins. I can't afford that. Are we having strippers at our hen nights? Yeah. Can I? Can I go to a gentleman's club with Tom? Can I? No. No, you're not gentleman enough to go to a gentleman's club. I, my friend, I'm a gentleman. I was a perfect gentleman when we were dating, and now. No, you weren't. Yeah, I do. I buy, I buy you takeaways. No, I buy you, you got flowers. drunk on our fourth date and shagged me, you fucking whore. You just shagged me on my second date. 
laser tag stag. When so me you're and my going, friends go laser tagging each and other. And you're going go karting as well. Indoor go karting. I'm such a boy. <laughs> That's not a boy. Why is that? What? Screw the gender roles. Why is karting for boys? Why can't it be for girls? Oh my god, I'm going to play Mario Kart. So basically, we're going to be go karting. I'm going to throw bananas everywhere. <gasps> Excellent idea. And bombs. I'm having a lap dance. What's the girl going to look like? Is she like blonde? She's going to be like you, but like 10 times hotter. Are you going to rip my garter off with your teeth? It's what you wear around your leg and it, um, it originally held your stocking up. Do you put a gun in it? Do you want me to put a gun in it? Yeah! Oh my gosh, I get a really tacky one that says like, bride or bride-to-be or something. Corey bride. Before we get married, we have to talk about our one biggest regret. Okay. Mine's marrying like you, the what's one yours? That, like the... <laughs> Say hello. Show them how much you've grown. Show them your ears. Mm, you're a big girl now, aren't you? Her mm. ears could pick up Sky. Mm, give me a dog snog. Give me a dog snog. I like how you your dad made that one joke and you've told it to everyone. Hey, you? I'll steal my dad's joke. He's blood. I can steal whatever I want. I stole his jeans. I'm going to give you three scenarios to prepare you mm. for parenthood. Okay. I am the child. Okay. You are probably the mother. Um, am I myself? And you're my child. Why would you be anybody else? Mum. Mum. I've got myself in a bit of trouble. People are after me. Is it drug money? No. Why are people after you? They're after me for my hair. And why are they after your hair? Uh, they want to make human-like dolls. Number two. Okay. Mum, um, where's Dad? Um, oh, you failed that one. I had finished. Okay, go on. Um, well, you see, um, mummy, um, was in love with another lady, mm. and we couldn't, and we desperately wanted mm. a baby, but we couldn't make one without mm. a dad, so mm. we used a sperm donor. Yeah. Where is he? Um, well, when you're 18, you can get in contact I'm with 18. him. Okay, well, then we can get you details and you can get into contact with him. Is he, if that's what you'd like, interested in gang related crime? Not that I'm not going to have anything in common with him. Mum. Yes. I'm pregnant. Yes, son. Mum. Yes. I hate you and wish I'd never been born. I fucking hate you too. I didn't even want you. Rosie wanted you. I was fucking against it. You cost me the absolute earth and I resent you. I'm leaving home. Not before I kick you out. Alright then, what's the biggest piece of advice that you'd give your future child based on your own life and experience? Okay. Based on my own life and experience, I would say... Keep your legs shut. Dear future kid, looks on everything, but body odour is... Bye! God, it's hard life being a penguin. Especially when you've got a bitch mum that speaks in some kind of strange accent that no one understands.